All right, what's going on, Split Bob? Um, yeah, I've been away because uh, essentially my old computer uh, got fried. Um, we had a lightning storm here, and um, there was a power surge that wiped out my router modem, um, power supply, one of my vid cards, uh, processor, motherboard, all my RAM. So basically, I had to replace all that. So I had been offline for like a good week. Um, unfortunately, that was more money than I really wanted to spend. But ended up upgrading. So I'm running a AMD Phenom 2 720X3, which is a tri-core system at 2.8 gigs. I can overclock to 3.6 if I wanted to. Um, DDR 4 gigs of DDR3, uh, 1066 running a 700 watt power supply. Fortunately, I couldn't afford the graphics, the extra graphics card for Crossfire, but I don't. So I'm running one, one 3850, one gigabyte of RAM on that. So not quite as good as my old system, and I'm running a 700 watt power supply now, as opposed to what I had in my system. So that's why I haven't been around. Uh, now on to the Linux trolls. You talk about consumers just wanting their device to work, you know, be it GPS, MP3 players, whatever. They just want their shit to work. You know, a lot, um, most consumers, I'm not going to say all consumers, most consumers don't care how it works. They just want to know that it works and that they can do stuff on it. Most people aren't going to realize, you know, they can do other stuff with it. They bought it for a sole function. GPS, they buffer as a GPS. You know, TomTom Tom runs Linux. This is an example. Another example. This particular device is my MP3 player. Now, that is a brick of an MP3 player. The reason I bought it, though, was because it runs on Linux. I knew that. Most consumers won't know that. This is an Arco 604 Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. I can browse the net with this, which is kind of redundant because it uses Opera, which is proprietary. But I can run my movie files. I can run my MP3s. I bought this with a particular purpose in mind and a particular price range in mind. That and the fact that it ran in Linux, that was just an extra plus that I wanted. So, yeah. I went out of my way to look for this, but most consumers are just going to go and buy something that fits their needs for the most part. Most don't do research. They just go by how much is it going to cost me and does it work, like you said. And the Linux trolls that I complained about in one of my last videos, like Carla Schroeder, are precisely the people I detest because they see people who just want stuff to work as lazy or ignorant or blah, 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 blah. And that's not the case. Other people, you know, I don't claim to be knowledgeable in cars. I just want my car to work. You know, that's the same explanation people can give for computers. You know, they just want the computer to work. You know, regardless, you know, as much as we debate operating systems and ways of doing things, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. A person needs to use what fits their needs. You know, I'm not a mechanic. I don't want to know how my car works. I just want it to know that it freaking works. I know basics of my car, but ask me to work on it? Hell no. That's what I pay other people to do. Same with computers. And people like Carlos Schroeder and all of, you know, these Richard Stallman type people that, you know, they preach and preach and preach about how people should run stuff, about why people should run stuff. It's a personal choice. It's a PC, for Christ's sakes. PC. Personal computer. Let the person decide how they run it. Be it convergence devices like an iPhone. Be it Singular purpose devices like an Arco 604 or a general computing device like a PC that includes Apple's, that includes HP, that includes Dell, that includes Linux, 
operating systems, OS X, Windows, Solaris, take your pick. That is the point. Let the consumer decide. Preaching and advocating is good. It's how you preach it, advocate. Calling consumers essentially lazy and retarded that don't want to learn stuff is not going to bring people to your cards. And unfortunately, people within the Linux Foundation sometimes and people within the Free Software Foundation just don't get that. You have to not always preach. You have to let them learn. Show them. There's a difference between preaching it and practicing it. And the article you're referring to, Carla Schroeder, she does a lot of preaching, but not a lot of practicing. So, that's my view on it.